What's going on guys, JoeFilmGRC.com. Welcome and today we're gonna to be putting a micro servo into this so it can do cool little things like this. So stay tuned. All right, today we're gonna to be working on the Dodge Charger 1970 Supercharge VE. This is from Kyosho. We're gonna be putting a micro servo into the front of this car so we can use that to uh, open and close our front grill light buckets. So it's gonna be awesome. Here's the servo we're gonna be using. And as far as the tools and as far as the, those dimensions you're gonna need for that servo, check that out, how it's getting installed. Just gotta have a couple little tools to get this job done. This is all the parts we're gonna need. If you have a charged battery, at least minimally charged as far as storage charge or something, your four double A's, because we need to make sure this thing's on zero before we button down any of the screws completely, tighten them down. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove this little screw here, and then there's another one over on the other side. Now they move freely, and showing you over on the other side. Same thing with this side. The two screws that I did remove, I put them off to the side, we will use those again but I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of the bag right now. Okay, so I have everything laid out. I just wanna let you guys know too, if you look here, it's transparent. So when you flip the body over, it's gonna be reversed. So just kind of keep that in mind when you put this thing together. So I'm looking at it as of here. I'm gonna go ahead, so it'd be kind of laid out in this direction. So we wanna go ahead, grab this piece first. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab this little piece. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on like so, and we'll just go ahead and slide that body clip through there, like so. So, yep, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down for a second. So we got this little rubber O-ring, and then we have this, this little piece here. So we wanna go ahead and just slide that right over, like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and put that right like there. So you see that? Yeah, you see that. Then we're just gonna put that the screw right through that little hole. You don't wanna tighten this up, obviously it's just plastic. So, all right, there we go. Got it like it shows in the instructions. Also note, looking right here, you can see that the front grill is closed on. Now again, it's flipped in reverse. So we just gotta be mindful of that, like so. All right, so that's the way it should be installed. A screw that goes right here, and another one over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. Go ahead, let's set our servo correctly. On your radio first, you notice that it has goes up. You wanna make sure that's all the way slid, all the way to the top. We're gonna look for channel three. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where it needs to go to on the receiver. Can you see it? We have channel three and then VCC. And you wanna make sure, like let's say for instance, yours has the colors like mine, make sure your brown wire is towards the closest of the chassis. Like you can see here, you can see that those wires are black. So we wanna make sure the black is closest to that chassis when we go to plug in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into channel three. Okay, so now my servo is plugged into channel three. Not really that bad to get that in. The car on by the radio first, then we'll turn the car on and making sure again that channel three is all the way to the top you should hear your servo move too so again all the way to the top so now we can power this down removing the body clips one there and there so now there's a little you just slide this back towards the chat towards the back of the chassis and then you can just slide this off not easy with one hand, but there it is. Also for the servo horn, you should have gotten maybe a, a screw with your servo so you can mount that servo horn. So mine came with it, one little Phillips screw head servo. Now you can put a little bit of Loctite, blue Loctite, if you wanna put that on, but we wanna make sure we check our instructions. So we wanna make sure that we're setting it up correctly here. Now you can see the way my servo and the orientation they look to be identical. And I kind of ran across here and I started to do this and I was like, this is not working. Okay, these little screws that do come with it, that do hold down the light bucket, those aren't really the greatest ones to try to use to put 
right in here. Now, fortunately, I don't know, unfortunately, maybe for you guys, maybe this would be something Kyosha needs to recognize, but those screws don't really work so well. Now you can get around that. You could probably hone that out a little bit more as far as those little holes and make that work. It's just because they're so blunt. These, these little screws right here work perfectly for it. And these came with the servo. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it now. So again, just mounting it like so. One there and then one on this side. Got that on. You can always wire manage that a little bit better. That back on like that. Now I've, I've gotta say, that servo wire that it comes with is pretty long. But you can notice like the wire has to come out through the front and then wrap around. I've have some servos that probably wouldn't work so well. Like this servo here is a little bit bigger, but that cable is definitely shorter. Let me know if you guys do this, if you run into any kind of issues, definitely give us some feedback. Put those back in. Again, like what I said, I kind of like set my depth about how far they need to be. All right, so now we have that done. At this point in time, to kind of make, make these two together, gonna need that little body clip. There's a little hole right here. We need to feed that through right in here. See the way I have it sitting here. I got a little body clip to make these two work together. So pop that right through there. So that's, now that's in. That's it. All right, boom, you saw it. Let's see if this thing works. Turned it on. I didn't do anything other than just kind of test to make sure that it wasn't gonna look weird or something like that. But all right, there you go. So doing this. Servo seems pretty good. It is looks a little sleepy as far as the lights go. It could probably use a little bit of tuning. You guys might be thinking like, okay, how's this body gonna come off? You know, it's gonna be kind of difficult, right? So I definitely wanna lift it to the front and you can do it kind of like this, right? And that would work. Now you just make sure you obviously you wanna be on a nice, either in the grass, not on the concrete or nothing like that. But if you do it that way, you should be good. Then you can just go ahead and bring this thing straight back down and you're in business rock and rolling. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Hey, it's kind of a novelty thing. It's kind of like, yeah, but it's kind of cool too, right? Especially when you get the lights in there, it's gonna be super cool. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. And uh, leave your comments below. Let me know how you thought of this little tutorial. And we'll catch you real soon. Peace.